Hi, I'm Byron Malone, campus pastor of the Hunt Club campus here at Venture Church. I don't know about you, but I grew up with this picture of Jesus as this man who never was bothered or frustrated, never had any problems. He walked around with this holy light around his head, and we even saw pictures of him carrying a little lamb, right? And he wasn't really phased by the everyday aggravations of life. But what takes place on Monday, on the road to Easter, shows us a whole new side of Jesus. Jesus and his disciples go into the Jewish temple in Jerusalem, like any devout Jew would do. And they were getting ready for the Passover. And what Jesus sees in that moment sparks frustration and what could even be called righteous anger. He sees money changers set up to take advantage of the Jewish travelers who may have been unprepared for the celebrations. What should have been a celebration of God's goodness and power has been cheapened by these vendors who are leveraging it for a personal gain. With energy, passion, and an emotion that is rarely attributed to him, Jesus begins to throw tables, chairs, and even people out of the temple. This is not your mild-mannered sheep holder. This is the fiercely passionate Son of God determined to do whatever is necessary to rid the temple of selfish intentions and restore the integrity of this holy place. Matthew gives us an interesting detail in his account of this moment. Like a general who has captured an enemy fort, not only does he ruthlessly drive out those with evil intentions, Jesus then sets up shop to display the true purpose of God. He repurposes this space that moments earlier was being used to exploit the poor and the hurting to now heal and help the broken. The money changers claim to give access to experiencing God, but the reality is they are a roadblock. And once they're removed, people are then able to experience the real life-changing work of Jesus. But you and I know what's coming soon, right? Because of what Jesus will do a few days later, a building is no longer necessary to interact with God. If you're a follower of Jesus, you are the temple. You are the church. God's spirit dwells within you and you have access to him. But even still, we all likely have some sort of barrier between us and experiencing the fullness of God in our lives. So to put yourself in the mindset of Jesus, Spend some time in prayer and personal examination today to identify those things standing between you and God. Will you run them down, run them out with the same fierce passion that Jesus had? Hey, we'll continue tomorrow on the road to Easter. <laughs>